Hello and welcome. We're going to take a look at Fleet's strategy for vulnerability detection and how you can easily access this information within Fleet's dashboard. First things first, vulnerability processing is enabled by default for new installations after version 4.7. When you log into Fleet, you'll get a general overview of your hosts, activity, and software. The first place to check for vulnerable software lives within the software section under Vulnerable. From here, you can quickly see what software has been detected as vulnerable and how many hosts it is currently affecting. By clicking View All Software, it will navigate you to the Software tab. Just to know, but with Fleet Premium, you can easily see the probability of an exploit. We leverage the Exploit Prediction Scoring System, or EPSS, for this feature. But how does all this work? Well, Fleet is built on OS Query under the hood, where we query the installed software for each host about once every hour. Installed apps, browser plugins, and packages are translated to Common Platform Enumeration Names, or CPE, and Oval Definitions on Linux. These are then matched from the list of Common Vulnerabilities and Exposure Identifiers, known as CVEs, that are listed in the National Vulnerability Database, also known as NVD. Vulnerability management with Fleet doesn't stop there. End users can self-remediate with Fleet Desktop by checking for vulnerabilities within the software tab for their device. Vulnerability automations can also be configured to trigger a webhook request if a new vulnerability is found on at least one host. Better yet, you can configure Fleet to create a ticket instead of a webhook request with the available Jira and Zendesk integrations. You can find more information within Fleet's documentation or try it out yourself with our new Fleet Sandbox. Let us know what you think.